One relatively recent addition they made to the breakout rooms is that I can actually share a file out to the breakout rooms. So if I have made my breakout rooms, I now go to my share content, I go to my share files, I now have the option to actually share that file with groups. So I could have an instruction page reminding them of what they should be doing or send them a message like a slide that says three minutes left. It's up to me. I can choose share with groups. I get to pick which group, including if I wanted to share it with all of them. I click that, it'll send that to the breaker rooms, it'll pop up on their screen and they'll all see it and they could actually interact with it. The problem is that even if they start making annotations on this thing I just shared with them, those are not able to be saved back. I can't bring back the work they do on this slide. If they share files in that room, I can bring them back. So in this case, if I scroll down, I can actually see group one has some files someone loaded. But this is only if they share files, not if they pull up the whiteboard, not if they share their screen. So if they had a file they shared, I could click that, I could choose that one and then actually bring it in. I could share it now on the main display or I could actually choose, oh, once I end the breakout rooms, I'd be able to choose to bring it into the main room. I find when I share it now, it'll just show the file they shared. Once they're done with breakout rooms, so let's say I stop breakout rooms. Once the breakout room's done, now I can go back to files and actually take that file and stop sharing it. And now I have the option to actually move it to the main room files so that any animations or annotations they made on that file, in this one, group one, if they made annotations, those would be on there as well. But this is only if they loaded a file. So in many cases, what they're doing in the break rooms is not going to be easily tracked. And I'll show you a workaround for that right now. So one of the easiest approaches you can take is to create a PowerPoint slide or a set of PowerPoint slides within Office 365. So here's my set of slides. And what we normally do is a slide with instructions saying, OK, what they're going to be doing in this activity, and then even emphasizing each group will have its own set of slides. So when they go to the breaker rooms, one person could share the slides, and they can take their notes within the slide so that later when you come out of the breaker room, you have a record of what they did. All you have to do is make sure to click the Share button. In our case, we don't want it just people we specify can edit. It's easiest if we just get it so that anyone with the link can edit. When I click that, I'll get this link, copy that. And what I do is before starting breakout rooms, before having the students move out into them, I would put this link in the chat, get the students to click in, and this is where they start taking their notes while in the breakout room and working together. Again, once we come back to the main, breaker, main room, I could share my screen, pull up this file, and go over the, the various things each group did.